Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I thought we could mess around with some succulents. It's really rainy and gloomy here. It seems like Saskatchewan weather is one day really hot and nice and then the next five days rainy. Um, so I thought we'd mess around with some of this. Uh, I thought it'd be a good idea because I'm sure you guys are probably maybe in the same position a lot of people are in. So you don't want to go to your garden center or you don't, because you don't need to or you don't want to go there just to buy a succulent. Um, so I thought we could take what we have and rearrange them. These two right here, um, I've rearranged a couple times. I'm sure I have a picture of when I put this pot in last year. And if I do, I'll put it up on the screen because it has grown a lot. So I'm like, might as well take these out. I'm sure they would like a new home maybe. And we can do that today. Um, I don't know, I want to say any of these names of these plants. I'm sorry about that. Maybe this one, this is an elephant bush. And I took this from a cutting of my other elephant bush, which is huge. But that's about it. I don't really know the rest of them uh, off the top of my head. I'm all, maybe I'll put the names on the screen for y'all. Um, just a couple uh, fun facts, I guess. I grew this guy from a little teeny pot part on top that it fell off of this plant and I just popped it in this with a little bit of soil and here it is a year later. So that's a good tip if you want to take some cuttings off your succulents and look what you get. And I took cuttings off my elephant bush for this guy and I mean it's doing okay. It's not loving its spot, it's actually on our windowsill of a bar kitchen sink right now it's the only south-facing window we have and that's where pretty much all my cactuses and succulents sit so I think they need a little rearranging you can tell this one is it's been leaning it's kind of leaning towards the Sun as well as this they're both leaning um, I don't really know what direction we're gonna go but I have my chai tea latte and let's get started Okay, so first, if you're gonna repot these, you're not gonna want to use the same soil because one, these plants have been in here for, an over, for over a year and they've used all those nutrients that that soil is gonna be able to give them. And we wanna put them in some nice new soil so they can grow and be happy. So I just have some cactus soil here. Um, you don't wanna use garden soil, it's gonna to be too heavy for these plants. I just picked this up when we were out one day at a hardware store. I saw it, it four bucks. I said, I'll grab that. Perfect. So you're going to need some of that. Also what I have, I just have a bowl. This is where I'm going to put all the old soil in and maybe the plants while I'm rearranging them. Um, and I have a little cup to help me with the soil. Take it out of the bag. Yeah, we're just going to get started. I think just got to be careful with some of these spiky ones here and we'll get going because I think this is gonna be fun and we, I don't know what direction we're gonna go, like I said. These all need the same light requirements, same water requirements, so they're perfect. You can put any of them all together. Um, I think they would do just fine. Mine obviously have, little note, this pot right here does not have a drainage hole. The rest of these do. This pot does not have a drainage hole and it's done fine. I maybe water it once every two weeks. Kind of bad with it, I forget a lot, but I, I don't know, I grew up in the south in Arizona, and so to me, cactuses grow there, and it's dry, it's hot. They don't need that water, so that's the philosophy I take with my cactuses and succulents. Ah, eh, they really don't need that water. If you think about how much it rains in the desert, I don't know. Maybe you get a good solid rain, like 10 days a year. That may be exaggerating, but that's what it feels like when you live in Arizona. It feels like you get rain like 10 days a year. So that's how I go about with my succulents. They don't need water. The more water you give them, the less happy they're going to be. They want to be dry. They want, they want to live in that dry, hot climate. So that's what you gotta give them. And I think that's why I've had such great success with all of these is because I just kind of let them be, let them do their thing. 
And so that's my one tip. If you don't have a drainage hole, just be very, very mindful with how much water you're giving. Stick your finger down on the soil. I know everyone says that. Stick your finger down on the soil. Make sure it feels dry. If it feels wet, that's an issue with cactuses. It should not feel wet. You should just barely moisten your soil around them. Okay, we're gonna start with this one here because I think this is where I want to put all the plants. I want them to be in this big container because we do have a lot and I only have this one bag of soil. So let's get started working on these root balls. It is really dry, so it could be pretty easy to take these guys out, but we'll see. See, this is what I mean by it. You can see the soil moving. <laughs> it's very dry in there. Um, make sure you're doing this in a place that you can clean up because probably going to make a mess. I'm just going to take one of my kitchen knives to help me get in here. Not the most, of, I don't know, not the greatest. I'm just trying to be very gentle. I mean, the plants are very, very, oh, what's the word? They're okay if you mess with some of their roots. They don't want all the roots messed with though. So I'm just gonna try to go in here and pry this guy out. I feel like once we get the first one out, the next one should be able to come with ease. This guy's a little spiky, so I'm just being pretty careful around it. our first one out. Um, I didn't mess up too many of the roots as you can see. I can see in the in here as well. There's not they weren't that big which fine for a cactus. I'm just gonna set it over here and we'll I don't want to deal with this Pokemon right away so I think we're gonna go with this big ugly looking guy. He's one of my favorites. He I call it the he but it has sat in the lowest light possible in our house and survived a whole year with barely, barely any sunshine. So I don't know, I don't exactly know the name. Um, I'll put it on the screen though, but, so if you have a low light area and you want that cactus flare, it does really well. Obviously it does better in sun, That's, it's a cactus. So I think we're gonna do some of the same kind of plants. I'm just gonna put my cactus mix in here. You can see this cactus, this is a different cactus mix than I have used. All right, I'm just gonna put some more in here. And we're just gonna start placing these where we think we want them to go. I have this guy, this Fraser picked this out. It's a cactus moon grafted, so put on top of there. It's done perfectly fine. and I'm gonna put them in the front because they are spiller plants, though they want to spill over. So put them in here together. Okay, and here's the finished product. 
effect. I think it looks really nice with all the different layers. And I think it's fun that I grew a couple of these from cuttings and I think that it's a good way for you to be able to use plants as well and make new arrangements for your house, something different. And I hope that you do this while you're home and not really able to go out and get a bunch of supplies. Yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Bye!